Hello, this is Andrew, and this is a Lazine HP Drive frame pump for a bicycle. Um, I, you might notice it's a little dirty. I've actually had this for a while. I've been meaning to review it for a while, just kind of haven't gotten around to it. Um, but I finally got around to replacing it and figured it was as good a time as any before I put it in the bin or you know not not the not the rubbish bin but just the bin of um, old stuff um, to talk about what it is why why I replaced it and what's good about it and what's not um, I got it because it's short and I like pumps that have one of these flexible hoses on it it makes it really easy to get into the space where the uh, valve is, and um, it's usually pretty straightforward to use the thing. Um, this supports Schrader and Presta valves, so which was another reason why I got it. Um, I don't have a bike, I don't usually ride a bike with a Schrader valve, but I do have some. So, um, you know, m more flexible is usually better. Uh, when you're using this, obviously this tube comes out the back end, or the this side, and then you attach it to this side, you just kind of screw it on so that whatever valve type you want is on this end. Um, before I get into my thoughts, let's just weigh the thing, because this is another reason why I got it, is it's supposed to be light, and it is 90 grams, which isn't bad for a frame pump. Um, so it probably is obvious that I'm not a big fan of this because I replaced it. And the reason why is, well, I mean, it, the short answer is that it kind of sucks. The long answer is that, um, so I haven't really used it with a Schrader valve. I've really only used it with Presto. So this is, maybe it's awesome with Schrader valves. I don't know. When you connect it to a, a Presto valve and, you know, you, you kind of screw it in here, you screw it on, which is great because then it doesn't, um, isn't going to come off. But when you screw it off again, it often takes the valve core with it. Um, one, the thing you're supposed to do to mitigate that is you push this button here, and that relieves the pressure inside of here, inside the tube, so that it lets go of the valve core, but it doesn't. And also, it's really hard to get started in the first place. So when you first start pumping, it is kind of hit or miss on whether or not it actually pumps air into the tube or it just kind of like doesn't pump. So you kind of have to play with this a little bit to make it so that it is in the exactly the right position so that it can put air through the valve and actuate the, the, the valve core. Um, and then also just make sure you have to make sure to push this when you're done to relieve the pressure But then it still grabs hold of the valve core So you have to be really really careful when you're backing it off the valve core to not take the valve core out and empty the tire Or the tube which is super annoying. So Does it work? Yes Does it work well? No, and I would rec not recommend this. I would never buy it again um, I pretty much just kept it on the bike because it's better than no frame pump, but only by a little bit. Um, yeah, thanks for uh, watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below, and I will get to them as soon as I can. Cheers.